So we're told here that there's this large number of molecules in a single milligram of water. And what is this number? We hear millions, right, of these numbers, billions, trillions, quadrillions, quintillions. So we have this large amount of molecules, and we want to write it in scientific notation. The way I think about it is that, well, we need to make a number where the first part of the number is between 1 and 10, positive or negative. So I'm going to put a decimal between the two threes. That gives me 3.3, .3, a number between 1 and 10. But we can't take a huge number and just make it tiny and say it's the same thing. These are now different values. We have to multiply it by 10 many times so that this 3.3 .3 would equal the original number. To figure that, we just count, right? Here we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and one more. I move my decimal from here all the way to here, from right to left, 19 times. So to move it back, we have to multiply it by 19 as well. So here, this is the number in scientific notation. Next, we're told that a single molecule of sucralose weighs this tiny amount. And the spaces between the zeros are there just to help you count. How would we write this in scientific notation? My strategy is basically the same. So here, I would put a decimal between the 5 and the 7 to make a number between 1 and 10, positive or negative. And then I took this tiny number and I made it this huge number in comparison. 5.7 is way larger than this amount. So to balance it out, we multiply it by 10 to a negative power, right? We, otherwise, we divide. How many times do we divide by 10? We just count the number of places we move our decimal. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, and one more, 22 spots. So to make this huge number back to this small number, we would divide by 10 22 times, and that's our answer. Thanks.